to show you a simple intercompany sales process in Dynamics 365 Business Central. I'm going to create a sales order, turn that into an invoice and ship it in the source company, and then I'll go to the intercompany inbox in the destination company and look at the resulting transaction and accept that transaction, which is a purchase order, and then I'll process that purchase order. So let's get started. I'm in the source company right now. I'm going to enter a sales order. I'm going to enter the customer associated with my intercompany partner. Then I'll enter a simple line for this order. It's my simple order, so I'm going to go into posting and I'll ship an invoice this. Then I'm going to jump over to my destination company. And the first thing I want to look at is my intercompany inbox. Let's find that. So these are transactions that were created due to the processing of the source company. Now I've got the purchase order and I want to keep that. However, this invoice would end up being a duplicate invoice, so I don't want that one. I'm going to delete that. And this purchase order, I still need to accept it. And I'm done with the inbox. Let's take a look at the purchase orders. Here's the purchase order that I just accepted from my intercompany partner. And now I'll go ahead and post that. I'll receive and invoice it. That has received the order items into my inventory and created an invoice back to my intercompany partner. And that's really the whole process. Let's take a look at some of the setup that's involved in that. In the intercompany setup, I'm just identifying my partner code for all my intercompany partners. And then my intercompany partners, I've got a list of those. Here I've got one here. I can open this up. And for sales transactions, I identify the customer ID that's going to be associated with that transactions. Likewise, I specify a vendor. So when I pay that invoice back to the source company, I'll have a vendor set up for that. And then I set up an intercompany chart of accounts. On the left-hand side, you see the chart of accounts. This is used for intercompany. On the rightmost column, I specified the account in my general ledger that corresponds to the intercompany chart of accounts. And that's really it. That's all the setup that you need. So I showed you a simple intercompany sales process in Dynamics 365, where I created a sales order in the source company. I moved over to the destination company, looked at the intercompany inbox, accepted the transactions that I wanted, and then process that normally by going into the purchase order, receiving that, and then invoicing that. Mm -hmm.